Well, we're here awfully early. How how early did you get up, Tomo? Uh, I think it started with a four. Oh, oh. Yeah. And what did it start with when you got up? Four. I didn't, yeah. I didn't, I didn't know the clock started that early. Mine started with, turn that fucking light off. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, we all got up very, very early. Very early indeed. And it's a two and a half, three hour drive. Uh, we did it very, very quickly in the new wagon, who's earning its, its keep nicely. And, um, and we've arrived and there's not really much going on. And I honestly think we're an hour and a half early. Um, so we are a hurry up and waiting very early in the day. And um, yes, I just ate a green thing. I have no idea what it was. It looked like a minced frog on top of something red. And then it had some seeds on it that had been baked. No, it had a mint flavour to it. It was like a frothy mint jelly frog spawn. You're not selling it? No, it's unusual. I'm still on the fence about it. I need all you um, uh, chief and enthusiasts to check out this number because it was a rare, a rare issue. And um, to trace it on the, uh, uh, what's that, Merlin? Merlin, if you could trace it on Merlin and give us some indication on where this served. It has many layers of paint in many different colors, including metallic gold. And we'd like to know exactly where it's been and what it's done. Um, what was its call sign on the side? 12. Eh? 12. No, it was cock. Uh, it was on the bin box, actually with a needle gun in it and DNA and it popped up cock. And uh, I think it was one of a, um, um, a, a troop I think it was cock titty bum or something like that. Three, three. Uh, I had one that was called rattle and that was in a troop of shake, rattle and roll. How coop, cool is that? So there you go. And I think you agree, she's come up nicely. Come up very, very nicely. And the barracuda on the barrel, well, bloody hell. I mean, it just looks the dog's gonads. In fact, talking of dog's gonads, we've just got a, a new dog, a cane courser. And you should see the knackers on that dog. They dangle, literally dangle down between his back legs and he drags them along the ground, treading on them. Yeah, an impressive dog. Tried to bite me the other day. Anyway, look at that, look, isn't she beautiful? You can see the rifling up the barrel. This is especially, special uh, close up rifling picture. See the rifling, look at that, look. Not fired many shells, still got plenty in there. Plenty in the tank. Plenty in there, be seeing you, be seeing you. And uh, doesn't me, image intensifying night vision sight look cool. Now the other thing isn't authentic, is you see that chain? Well, when I open that front cupola, I can bring it around and I can physically lock that chain. Um, and that way onto that bit there, I've welded a little eyelet on there. And then if the catch came loose and I turned hard, that thing wouldn't slap me in the kisser. Because plenty of people have died with one of them, hitting them in the chops. Now, we put a new fan belt on yesterday. We ran it up fast, lots of revving. Couldn't see a problem. Uh, what else did we do to it? I can't even remember, I'm so tired. Oh, an extra spring on the accelerator. Accelerator keeps locking, it's sticking on, but it won't now, I don't think. Hence, me Avery got crushed. That's a bit of excitement today, that does. Yes, Sticky, I'll bet you're all laughing. Lots of parrots flying around all over the place, shitting where they shouldn't be. I wonder what he's going to hit with that hammer. Oh, and our mugs came. We've now got a hundred mugs that have got pictures of tanks and my staff on. There's a very nice one of Daniel's bottom on one side and a tank on the other. I think that could be a big seller. Yes. Yeah, from some of our uh, pink batting fraternity. I think they'd like a picture of Daniel's bottom and a tank on the other. Anyway, today I can't tell you what we're gonna do with it and I can't show you any footage of what we're gonna do with it. Not yet. And I can't talk about the big star. Uh, I can't talk about anything really. But what I can say is after it's come out on the telly and I can't tell you when it's coming out because that could give you a clue of what it's about. And I've already probably given you a clue um, and then we can, do, I'll keep all the bits and we do a very nice um, medley of everything to do with the film in the production of the um, said uh, movie, uh, advert, uh, television, documentary, uh, whatever it is, because I've got to keep it a secret. Yep. 
What do you mean last minute? I don't know what you mean. Funny old filler this is. How'd you do that? Yeah. Yeah. Bit of a diesel leak. Slight one, yeah. The slight one, okay. And there's a crack in the steering disc. Yes. Okay. Um, it didn't have a crack in the steering disc, so we've done Not that with we all the... Of. Pardon? Not that we know of. But no, so we've done might that... Have um, a crack at the bottom before, eh? I thought you meant it cracked and fell in half. But it's no, just no, got no. a little crack, hairline crack. Full set of yeah. hair. It steers one way better than the other, and you probably find the hairline crack is just shaving a bit off the front of the pads and keeping them um, more, uh, how can I say, sharper. Yeah. What we do is we'll thumb in a bit of liquid metal. It's still running yeah. Power. There's no pumps on. No. Uh, it could be one of those fuel bags is leaking. Just one of the fuel bags. You know, we put fuel in both sides. One side, yeah, why would one side be completely dry? You've never got one completely dry. It's not completely dry. No, I bet you that's what it is. But the thing is, the hole's like that, isn't it? It is like that, yeah. So it just collects. Yeah, I it's, wouldn't it's be surprised. It's definitely wetter on this side. Yeah. Well, as always on film sets, there's a lot of hurry up and wait. Now, I've always said with a chieftain, wonderful tank. Wonderful tank, dead straight line, uh, run a car over, back it up again. Little bit of minor adjusting on your steering, but as soon as you start turning them around, I've been doing neutral turns and I've been going through the forest and do all sorts of things. So we've now got a crack in um, in one of the steering discs, which is not good. I've obviously heated it up to a fucking red heat and it's it's cooled down. Uh, and then we've got um, a fuel leak on one side. What do you expect? It's a chieftain. Um, so yes, yes, uh, we're nearer the end of the shoot. And I'd like to think we've only got to run two, one or two cars over. But um, I wouldn't want to carry on trying to run a Chieftain for much longer. I've always said to people who try to run Chieftain on a corporate day, I bet it's not running by lunchtime. And guess what? It's nearly lunchtime. So we haven't done badly. Well, we're getting into the bowels, the bowels of the job. And uh, Ashley wants to take the airbox out. So we're going to take the airbox out and have a look underneath it. And get an idea of where this little leak is. It won't stop us doing the crush, but uh, nobody likes a diesel leak. That ring of bolts going to the engine, does that have to be undone? It doesn't. I thought that. Yeah. It looks very 432. Yes. want to kill myself. Or, or yeah, on the side of not, the... Um, it's not like that. On the uh, supercharger. Yes. Yes. Anyway, it's all go and everything's going rather nicely. Apparently, if you feel... I'm quite proud there. Look, quite proud. I mean, it's a bit of a shame, really. Has anyone traced that number plate yet? Yeah, he'll be on Merlin somewhere. So there you go, the Jag bought it. Now I know it's just another crush. And now we've got to do these three. And it's a bloody shame, really. The Jag was nice enough, one owner. And uh, I'm a fond person, these Bentleys. They're a bit unreliable. They've all got something wrong with them, something little. And these are going to get it next. She's ready to load. Slight diesel leak. And uh, we tried to put... Many... <laughs> bit puffed there, boy. Yeah, these young ones. As he gets older, he'll get stronger and fitter and more resilient to hard work. Poor old boy. He about caffed, didn't you? About right. caffed. Come on, let's go load this Abbott. to the place with the big yellow M. Mackie Dee-Doo's. When you come into Mackie Dee-Doo's with Ashley, you just say, yeah, yeah, whatever he's having. Cause he is a expert, a connoisseur. Say the Skoda's a tip. A connoisseur. But look. Oh, still got his slippers. Underneath he's still got thing. his slippers on. Oh, memory foam like sketches. Oh, memory green. foam sketches. Bloody hell, maybe I need a pair of them. Are they nice? They're lovely. Oh, Mackie Dee Doo, Mackie Dee Doo.